Hello friends, today is a good day. It is Saturday. We did not film the day after Thanksgiving. Um, but Kaylee is going to donate blood for the first time. Battery died, sorry about that. So she's going to donate blood for the first time for a school assignment, which I think is amazing. So, and I don't know her blood type. I'm sure I could look at her birth certificate and find out, or her medical files. But I'm curious to know if she is O positive, like me, because I think those are the chances of less cases of COVID. So let's go donate blood with her for the first time. So unfortunately, their, their website is <laughs> messed up and you can't donate when you're not 16. So this one couldn't donate. So she sat in the car <laughs> and FaceTimed her friend, but they did have donuts today, but you had to grab them sight unseen. You couldn't like look inside them so I knew this one was the maple. Got that one for Kaylee. She's gonna eat that later. Well, let's see what I got. I think I just got a plain one. Just kind of a bummer. bummer. One of the other technicians, she's like, if you see or even like smell a Bavarian cream one, will you please save it for me? <laughs> so it's kind of a bummer. The website isn't working, so we put in her age, and it said she could donate, but she has to wait till she's 16. Kaylee, they also said that when they come to the high school um, and, and do these blood drives, they say all the girls like totally dramatize it and make huge big deal about it. So she likes it when teenagers come to these sites better because it's less traumatic and like, you know, because imagine all, imagine like Kimberly going to donate blood and like dramatizing it in front of everyone. Anyway, so she's got to go find another, is it extra credit or is it an actual assignment? An actual assignment. So we've got to find another, there's a list of things. This is just an easy one that she could have done, so. I have to admit I'm going through a Starbucks drive through for the very first time in my entire life. Really? Yeah, for you. <laughs> I've never been through one. Can I get a grande pink, pink, drink. pink drink with light ice? Sorry, can I get you anything else? No, that's it. All right. Does order screen look correct for you? Yes. All right. We'll see you up here. Thank you. The girls are standing here on the corner. Let's see if I can get Ashley over there. She's not. And their signs say honk if you're happy. Right? See if I can get Ashley. She's stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Way back there. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> so bored. Like, all right, we're gonna go through again. <laughs> so, so let me explain. We just pulled around the corner, coming home, and all these girls, all of Chelsea's friends. There's two on each corner, two or three on each corner, just right here in our neighborhood by one of the girls' houses, and they have all made signs that say honk if you're happy. <laughs> and everyone is honking for them and laughing and rolling their windows down and saying hi. And I think it's so cute that they're so creative. So we're gonna go through again. It's like a little drive-through. Honk if you're happy moment here. <laughs> You guys are so cute! I'm coming through again. Oh my gosh. Hi! Yay! No. Alright, so I'm back at home. But I felt like it took forever because the drive through at Starbucks, I'm not kidding you, it took us easily 20 minutes, if not 25 minutes, for two cars ahead of us. It was ridiculous. But I forgot to tell you one of the coolest things that I got at the blood donation place. I have officially earned, let me see if you can get a close up of this, my 3,000 gallon donation pin. Can you believe that? I have donated three gallons of blood. Gallons! I have donated three of these suckers. That's pretty cool. And the lady said, she's like, man, I wish you had been able to donate one of the last two times that you were, I was turned away. The last three times I have gone. One with Jason, when he went for his first time, because my red blood cell count um, was too low. They said, when you donate regularly every eight weeks, which I do, it tends to lower your, your red blood cell count. And so you kind of have to like take a break and wait an extra couple weeks. And then when I went back again, that's when, then there was smoke in the air and they had to like shut the place down because there was too much smoke. And then COVID 
really amped up and then they didn't have any places that I could go to and then I went today. So she said I was one donation away from my 4,000 gallon pin. 4,000 gallons! That is so cool. <laughs> I don't know why that's so cool. I have been donating blood basically since I moved here to Seattle. I don't remember donating blood as an adult when I lived in Utah. I don't remember ever doing it. I think, so this blood bank that I have currently been donating to, I have been doing it for almost 20 years now. So that's pretty cool. I have a cute little pin. But she said next time I come, I will get my 4,000 pin. So that's cool. All right, so before I, <laughs> this is the next day. I actually forgot to end the video yesterday. You guys, I went to bed at 7 p.m. Stayed awake. Relax, turn on my Hawaiian music. You guys wanna relax yourself? Turn on Hawaiian music on Pandora because it is very relaxing. It's like guitar music and ukulele and like fun songs. Right, Chels? Mm -hmm. How many days do we have, Chels? How many days? Um, 73. 73! We're dreaming of beaches around here. I sit and watch beach videos and all that kind of stuff like all day long. But meanwhile, it's cold and rainy outside and I'm gonna try and find dinner. But I forgot to end our video yesterday, so sorry about that. Um, and I think I said a couple different times, I'll have to edit it, but I think I kept saying that I donated 3,000 pounds, or 3,000 gallons of blood. It's not. I'll edit that out, but I, it's it is thousand. three. No, it's three gallons. Look, you didn't see this, Chels. Oh. I got my three gallon blood donation pin. What do you think of that? Can you believe that? I've it's donated, tiny. look, that's a gallon. That milk jug in there, that's a gallon. I've donated three of those worth of blood. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm just kidding, food. <laughs> All righty, take care of you guys. Oh, there's someone hiding behind me. Ashley, come and show me your curls real quick. Right. Abby brushed or braided her hair last night. Can we, like, this is like a permanent attachment to you. Yeah. Turn around. They look cute. You look cute from the front because they're way curlier from the front. Yeah. Yeah. Abby French braids it, and so it's curly from the very top. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's very cute. So, here you go. Anyway, we've had a nice Sunday. We had virtual church, and then we did, we had a little bit of a break with our family, just kind of hung out, and then we... Just had my family church call. We just go through our weekly lesson for church. Chelsea, no. That's your second bowl. And you got like three I have had, <laughs> no, I have not. Chelsea, put it back. No. This is your second bowl of Cheetos. How about some applesauce or something else? And, and I have an apple. Anyway, we've had a nice Sunday lesson with my family. My sister Erin went through her house. It's getting fixed up. And maybe I'll get her to send me a video of kind of the work that's been done on the house since the fire. If you are new, I will link her fire video here. Actually, it'll be over here. I always say it's on the wrong side of the screen. But I'll try and get her, I think she, I told her when she was walking us through her house during our virtual Zoom call, I told her, I'm like, remember, turn this camera sideways and do a walk through so that I can add it to my video. Or so she can, she's creating a, kind of a little montage of videos from the start to finish on remodeling her house. <laughs> She's actually getting a good deal out of this because they're remodeling a lot of it, um, given a lot of it is burned. <laughs> but anyway, so we got to see her house and the progress. They're actually now saying it's gonna be six to eight months to fix, which is two months longer than they initially said, but she's still optimistic and she still likes seeing that there's progress and she's comfortable at her hotel. So they haven't found an apartment for her yet um, for a long-term solution. So she's just comfortable hanging out at the hotel. But uh, anyway, that's it. It's just kind of an update from our family today and everyone's happy and doing good. So I will sign off for now and we'll see you guys, I believe, next week. I think we're on to a Friday video for you guys to see this on a Friday. So we will see you next week. Take care.
This looks like mold to me. Floors. Looks like that's part of, yeah, that's my medicine cabinet for my bathroom. Doors, of course. Windows gone. Here's the big thing. The ceiling is gone. We've got very black, very burnt. Rafters, dresses, etc. feels squishy. Not terribly solid. This wall is completely gone. Of course, roof. It's very burnt. Straight overhead. Down. There's the bathroom. Probably the worst burnt spots are over there. But this, I've not shown it until now. This is the outer wall of the house. This is where the fire was. So you can see literally through the wall now that the drywall's gone. You're seeing the insulation all melted. That black is actually the siding. This here is the metal siding. You're seeing through that in places. All the charred, there's the light through the wall. All the charred side uh, insulation. That wall is gone. I'm surprised those studs are as in are in as good a state as they are. But looks like the bulk of the fire was actually up in these eaves, where it is very, very charred and very, very gone. See the char on those. Those are definitely compromised. Rafters, trusses, whatever they're called. Very gone in there. This, of course, is then to the bathroom where that vanity came out of. This is the wall, the outer wall again of the bathroom. Again, you can see through that window, shower, where that vanity was, where that medicine cabinet was, the light fixture was. So it looks like it's gonna be. Ooh, is that mold? Might be mold on the ceiling, looks like. Yikes. So, looks like they've scored the sheetrock to pull all this down around the tying work. So maybe I won't get a new bathtub per se, but the rest. Alright, I think that ends our little tour. I think all these spots, I think you can see those. All these spots on the ground, which is weird, are actually mold. They're definitely not normal looking. Kind of snowflakey looking. That screams mold to me. Not oh, cool. Anyway, this is one of the most happening tours we've had so far. There's the attic space. We've even had to get up there. Okay, we're done.